cannibalism. While the subject of cannibalism is a favorite among horror aficionados, let us not forget this is a truly heinous crime that has been committed by the most depraved among humans for centuries, or longer. Eating the flesh of another human being may be one of the most taboo acts imaginable, and for good reason. But over the years, a surprising number of people have devoured their fellow man, not out of desperation, but motivated by a perverse appetite. The disturbing deeds of the next 13 real and famous cannibals revealed here are just to turn your stomach. So pour yourself some nice, soothing Chianti and settle in for these true tales of men with appalling appetites. But remember, these are just the known cannibals and, unfortunately, a limited list. Our first up at bat is Jeffrey Dahmer, undoubtedly the most notorious cannibalistic serial killer. Jeffrey Dahmer murdered 17 young men between 1978 and 1991. Murder, though, was just the beginning of Dahmer's sick and twisted M.O. He dismembered, cannibalized, and stored human remains earning the nickname the Milwaukee Cannibal. Sentenced to 16 life terms in prison, Dahmer was beaten to death by fellow inmate Christopher Scarver in 1994. He is, without a doubt, one of the most famous cannibals in America. A more detailed overview of Dahmer's shenanigans will be presented later on on this channel. Number two on the list is Nikolai Zumagaliev. From Kazakhstan, serial killer Nikolai confessed to the murder of 10 people, though authorities assume there were most likely more victims. He claimed he wanted to rid the world of prostitutes and would attack women, drink their blood, then eat their remains. While drunk, he shot a co-worker and was apprehended, only to escape from custody two times. The second time, he was on the run for three years. He was eventually apprehended and committed to a mental institution. The cannibal's doctors claimed he was cured in 2005. However, just before Christmas 2015, he supposedly escaped the facility again. Officials refused to confirm whether or not this man is at the mental facility, or if he even arrived there in the first place. Keep your eyes peeled. Number 3. Armin Mywes. Armin Mywes, known as the Master Butcher. This native German, famous cannibalism was wrought on a voluntary victim. Mywes posted on a website which was called the Cannibal Cafe for people with cannibalistic fetishes. In his post, he claimed he was looking for a well built 18 to 30 year old male to be slaughtered and then consumed. Unbelievably, the ad was answered by a man called Burned Jurgen Armando Brandes. The two men made a videotape of Mywes's severing and then eating Brandes's penis, which both men ate. Mywes then killed and ate Brandes. When a college student noticed the online ad, Mywes was arrested and sentenced to eight years in prison. At a subsequent retrial, in which he stated that he still had a taste for flesh, he was sentenced to life in prison, a decision that probably saved lives. Cannibal number four, Muhammad Arif Ali, and five, Muhammad Farman Ali. Police reapprehended these Pakistani brothers when the head of a three year old boy was discovered in their shared home in 2014. Already convicted of several counts of this gruesome crime in 2011, the two known cannibals had since been released. While being questioned for the more recent crime, they claimed to have dug up and cannibalized the corpses of over 100 people, incorporating the corpses into homemade curry. In spite of their guilt, the men had been released from prison in May 2013, inciting, for obvious reasons, a public outcry. Cannibal number six, Isai Sagawa. At barely five feet tall, Sagawa said he chose his classmate, the five foot ten, 25 year old Renee Hartvelt, as his victim for her beauty and health. 
He lured her to his apartment, shot her, and over the course of two days, cannibalized her body. When he tried to discard her remains in the Bois de Boulogne Lake in Paris, he was spotted and arrested. The French government extradited Sagwa to Japan, where he was committed to a mental institution. But with the French case closed, he was able to take himself out, and horrifyingly has lived free since 1986. Sagawa has published several books, and even worked briefly as a restaurant reviewer, profiting off his famous cannibalism. However, in an interview with Vice magazine in 2009, he said that being forced to make a living as a known cannibal and murderer was a terrible punishment. Number 7. Rudy Eugene Known as the Causeway Cannibal, Rudy Eugene brutally attacked homeless man Ronald Popo underneath the MacArthur Causeway in Miami, Florida in 2012. Eugene, who was naked at the time, beat Popo, then bit and chewed the flesh of his face, grossly disfiguring him and rendering him blind in both eyes. Police shot and killed Eugene after repeated warnings. A toxicology report showed that there was only marijuana in Eugene's system, and his family was dumbfounded by the new cannibal's sudden and inexplicable behavior. Cannibal number 8. Luca Magnata In 2012, a gruesome video of a young man being repeatedly stabbed with an ice pick, dismembered, then cannibalized, was uploaded to a website called Best Gore. The man in the video was subsequently identified as Lin Jun, a missing international student at Concordia University in Montreal. Days later, packages containing body parts, which after investigation turned out to be Lynn's, were delivered to the offices of the Conservative Party of Canada. Evidence led police to the apartment of Luke Magnata, who by the time had fled to Paris, then Berlin. Magnata was apprehended and sentenced to life in prison. Cannibal number 9. Jose Luis Calva Police discovered Mexican murderer Jose Luis Calva eating a dish of human meat seasoned with lemon when they went to question him about the disappearance of his girlfriend in 2007. In his apartment, they also found the mutilated body of his girlfriend, human flesh in the refrigerator, a frying pan containing human flesh, and a cereal box filled with human bones. Calva had been working on an unfinished manuscript called Cannibal Instincts, and there was a photo of Anthony Hopkins as Hannibal Lecter taped to his wall. After being sentenced to 84 years in prison, Calva committed suicide in his cell. Cannibal number 10, Alfred Packer. American prospector Alfred Packer was one of the earliest cannibals in America. He claimed that he cannibalized his already dead fellow travelers to survive in the mountains of Colorado in the winter of 1874. However, inconsistencies in Packer's story regarding how exactly the men died led him to be sentenced to 40 years in prison, eight years for each victim. He was released on parole in 1901 and died in 1907. Cannibal number 11, Alexander Spesivez. Russian serial killer Alexander Spesizev is believed to be responsible for the murders of over 80 people, whom he lured into his home with the help of his mother. He kept a grisly diary of his killings, in which he described the torture, mutilation, dismemberment, and cannibalization of his victims. Though he only confessed to the murder of 19 people, Police believe the number to be much greater, based on evidence found at his home. One victim told the police she was forced to eat a soup made from the body of her friend. Spesizev was declared insane and committed to a mental institution in 1996. Cannibal number 11. Albert Fish Albert Fish was an American serial killer, rapist, and cannibal with a perverse taste for children. For his exceptionally cruel methods, he is one of the more famous cannibals in America. 
1928, he abducted 10-year-old Grace Budd in New York. Six years later, the Budd family received an anonymous letter riddled with spelling errors that detailed a man's descent into madness and cannibalism. In the letter's final paragraph, Fish graphically recounted abducting Grace Budd, killing her, and consuming her flesh. The authorities soon apprehended Fish, and he was executed by electric chair in 1936. Cannibal number 13, Anthony Morley. On May 2, 2008, English model and chef Anthony Morley ran into a kebab house at 2.30 a.m., drenched in blood, and pleading for someone to call the police. Then the horrifying truth came out. He had murdered a man named Damien Oldfield, with whom he'd been sexually involved. After slitting Oldfield's throat, Morley cut, fried, seasoned, and attempted to eat pieces of Oldfield's leg. Morley was sentenced to life imprisonment for his heinous crime. Thank you for listening to Mr. Horror. Future presentations will contain detailed accounts from some of these cannibals. Maybe even think about subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can receive all future updates, which don't come often. <laughs>